Hey, Butch, how long does the dog live? Years, one, maybe huh? Somebody sent me a picture today of a dog laying in the bed. And it looks like a dog that used to be at the ranch. And I was just thinking, uh, that's been so long ago, he'd probably be dead by now, huh? He was only about, I guess, about a year and a half old. When I had to get on the run, I gave my brother a dog in '68. Uh, yeah. When I went on the run, by the time he was getting in trouble, that dog was about seven, eight months. Old. Remember the shepherd? He still got it. Still chained up to the fucking front door. He ain't never let that poor fucking dog off that chain all in fucking years, you know. He might be dead now. He had it up four years ago. That dog was pretty old then. Can I tell you a story about a dog? Right. The guy uh, used to live at the ranch, was always drinking beer. Riding in a pickup truck, right? And uh, he lived over in a trailer on the ranch. His name was Bob. And he was a far out kind of dude, man. He was uh, a drunk and a uh, half assed mechanic and, and a little bit of nothing, you know? And he'd ride around in his truck just talking about making money. That's all he gave a fuck about. And uh, he told me, he said, for God's sakes, man, whatever you do, don't take that goddamn uh, chain off that dog. And Butch, that dog, would lay there and pee on itself. You know, it was so pitiful. Yeah. You know, he'd lay there and he'd just cower, just cower to no end. Piss on himself and just waller in it, you know. Yeah. And lick at your shoes and, and make his paws go up and down. And... Uh, I figured he belonged to the other guy. I wasn't going to bother him, you know. Till one day the other dude was gone. And I thought I'd let the dog go for a walk. Now keep in mind, Butch, we got 35 dogs at that ranch, and every one of them is like wild dogs. They don't have names. They got names, but they don't have, uh, they never had a bath. And if they don't catch rabbits, the only thing they're going to get is some, uh, old dried up uh, puppy chow, you know that Purina shit with the 50 pound bags? You know, in other words, I got all the dogs on the end of the city, they're eating at the ranch, see? And I'm letting them be, right? So I let this motherfucking dog up and there was a goat way down at the end of the motherfucking thing. That dog grabbed the first dog and just chewed him up, threw him up against the wall, reached for the second one and it was gone, you dig? He tore up two, three chickens going across the, uh, the thing. His hair had stuck straight up on his back and he was off. You dig what I'm saying? Huh? What? Oh, man. He's, boy, this motherfucker was strutting, Jack. And he jumped up, man, and he was his teeth was about three feet from that fucking goat, man. When I finally got over there and got on him, and I put, the, put my knife up over his neck and told him, now nah, Hey, look here, man. What are we going to do tonight, man? What's that? What are we going to do tonight? Probably everything we do every night. You're probably going to sit here and play and write, and I'm going to sit down there and come out here and count a couple times and be bored. And, uh, yeah, I'm bored, too. Yeah. yeah, I wish I, was, I could be the night quarter janitor. That's what they promised I could be, being the truth, but they lied. The they, somebody lied because nobody comes out at night. Yeah. Uh, uh, watch Commander Cartier, you know, and that big fat guy, got a hair lip. I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he got a hair lip, talk like yeah. that all the time. Yeah. I try to treat him nice, because I, I felt kind of sorry for him, the way he looked with the uh, but the, I know, you know, I'm surprised that, yeah. I wonder if that happened while he was here, when they punched him in the face. I don't know, I don't know. 
I know my relationship with him. I've always been right with him. See, in other words, I don't deal on on levels of prisons and guards and things. I deal with you as you and me as me. You know, right. you, you treat me right, I'll treat you right. Uh, it puts you to disadvantage though, because you hear you you trust you trust somebody, and then it turns out that you know they don't. Yeah, but see, in my law, they'll have to pay for it. That might be true. Sooner or later. Let me let me run something to you. Like, see, there's 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 things that people understand. And then there's much more that than they don't understand. See that feather on my finger, on my finger there? Yeah. You see, see, see that the last shift wanted to come and get this. You dig? Wanted to come in and get this. Said I wasn't allowed to have this. Wanted to come in and get it. And I told him, I said, "What is fucking with you, man?" Yeah. I told him, I said, "That's power." Now in this thing here, there's some duck feathers. There's duck feathers. There's that's a feather in there, a little bit of an owl that was killed by a hawk, and a little bit of a hawk that was killed by something else. Because then all the way down, it's a nice little magic chain of feathers. It's really beautiful. And uh, we used to have a lot of people that we used to share our love with. Uh, Mr. Hey, Chuck a luck. How's your day swinging, Ken? How's your day swinging? I have. Has it, has it got any better since the last time? It's kind of slowing down for you right about now, ain't it? You know how you make it? Just forget about it and be willing to stay here. Don't mean you're going to stay here. Just be willing to stay here. You see what I'm saying? And then when you get outside, be willing to stay here too. Because we'll be thinking about you. Wherever you go from now, we're going to be watching you, man. And big spirit, big eyes, some big old eyes gonna open up in the sky and look down, you know what I'm saying? 